Hey everybody, it's the One Timers again talking about the knockout phase now. We have had one wild World Cup up to date. Justin Thomas here, Matt Oster on the phone. Matt, how you doing? Doing pretty good. It's a beautiful day in Minneapolis. I was actually able to play some soccer myself for the first time in a while a couple days ago, so I'm in a good mood. The World Cup has been entertaining to say the least. Good, good. I, I mean, I've, I have loved this World Cup up to date. Uh, so far, a lot of goals have been scored, which is always nice too. Uh, no, no offense to those defenders out there, but you know, a lot of goals, some spectacular, some just kind of like how that go in, and, and then others, and you're just like, wow, that, you feel like that could have been something could have been done a little bit better to prevent that from happening. Exactly, and really, there haven't been there have been a handful of zero zero games, and then there's only been a handful of games that have been decided by more than two goals. So. Mm-hmm. Most of the games have been pretty competitive, even between uh, teams that no one thought had a chance. So it's been um, all those, those soccer haters have, have kind of had to eat the word, at least for this World Cup. So it's been great. Yeah, it has. Uh, all right, let's let's start it. Uh, let's start it off with the knockout phase. Um, we have the hosts, Brazil. They won Group A. Uh, they're taking on another South American opponent, a very good-looking side in Chile, who finished second in Group B. Uh, what do you like about this South American matchup? It's going to be uh, definitely interesting when you got two teams from the same area. Yeah. Um, I'd, I'd have to look up. I'm not sure exactly how they shared uh, in qualification or if they had to qualify against each other. That'd be an interesting thing to look up. I'm sure someone has, but... Um, Speaking on Brazil, I wasn't too impressed with Brazil. Um, I don't know about you, JT, but uh, all this hype going into it, they're the home team. Um, they're still still all this young talent. And, uh, I mean, Neymar showed up a little bit, but they, they, barely, beat, they barely beat Croatia. Mm-hmm. Uh, they tied Mexico and uh, Cameroon. And no offense to Cameroon, but they, they were pretty unorganized and, and stuff. So, um, not too impressed with Brazil right now. Kind of um, not... Not many shows of the Jungle Bonito Brazil were Yeah, I I agree with you on that. Um, uh, one po- one point to say, Brazil didn't have to do any qualifying due to being the host, so they they never played Chile in the qualifying for this. Um, well, your point, your point. I'm not. Uh, but for for Brazil, um, I think you're right. I think the Croatia game. In all honesty, they didn't. I don't. They look very unorganized. Marcelo had a known goal to start out. Um, there, obviously, there's the the penalty where Fred completely flopped and got a penalty for Neymar to put away. And then the other two goals, uh, Neymar's first goal and Oscar's the uh, Oscar's goal in that match. I feel like the keeper could have done better. I, I really they weren't anything spectacular. Um, I, I feel like the keeper really should have done a better job um, in in that match for that one. And I think. That's kind of where we get to now because that that game versus Mexico, Mexico played fantastic um, defensively. Obviously, they had a, they've had a tough time all the way up to this point scoring goals. Um, but just the, for how well the back line did, and Ochoa, we'll get to him in a little bit. Um, how well he did in that game, um, I think that definitely showed a weakness with Brazil. Now, obviously, they they destroyed Cameroon, but. You know, any I think anyone really could, in this tournament could probably have destroyed Cameroon. So I, I I'm not I mean sure they got that maybe was a good tune up game to get this point versus Chile, uh, but Chile uh, very well in their group. Um, they uh, they held off Australia in the first match, then they beat Spain, which knocked Spain out of the World Cup. They beat them two 0 They looked pretty dominant. Uh, they dominated Spain for a good portion of that as well. Um, and then the last one uh, we'll get we'll get to the Dutch in a little bit, but. Obviously, they lost to the Dutch 2-0 to result in them playing Brazil. But I think this is one that could really go either way, in all honesty, just due to how good uh, Chile is playing and how kind of shaky Brazil has looked. I think Brazil at times is a little unorganized to me. I mean, um, I think it's really important for a team to get get, uh, get pressure on Neymar up the field. And I think the one that... The, the image I have when Neymar is dangerous, and I mean most players are dangerous. Uh, the the one goal against Croatia when he, he got the ball about half, and then they gave him yards of space, and he mm-hmm. was able to strip the top of the box, and the goal probably could have saved it. I mean, they did, they barely pressured him at all, and they gave him space. And I think, especially with the guy who's one of the best players, uh, it's going to be dangerous. And I mean, 
Chile just took, took care of Spain. Uh, they, they, they all, they all, they all, they're all the best, better uh, counter-tagging team. I, I honestly, I, I, I watched the game on my phone when I was doing stuff, and I can't, I can't name names, but they, uh, they're definitely very dangerous. I think it's going to be, I think Brazil will find a way to win, but I definitely think they're going to have more than their hands full. I agree. I, I think, I think Brazil has just too much star power um, to to not find ways to score goals, and I think that uh, I, I think I agree with you on that. I think Brazil will win this one, but I think it's going to be a little bit closer than everyone um, thought. I, I think it was the 2010 World Cup where they played each other in this in this exact place, and Brazil won three nil. But I could very well see this one being two um, one, and, and a, just a, a dog battle. And I think I think this is going to be one of the Best games in the knockout stage. It's going to be exciting. Definitely a lot of attacking going on. Um, and then it's always fun to get the host nation involved. So mm-hmm. that'll be a big one to watch. It'd be, it, it, there's definitely a good possibility that Chile knocks them out. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be uh, that, that surprised that like Chile's been playing. They already knocked out Spain. So um, it, it'll, be, it'll be a cracker. Very true. All right, so we're taking Brazil... Both taking Brazil on that one. Um, we'll take another look at, at, at another game in just a moment. <laughs> 